Hi there, I am, uh, this is the teacher video lesson about how to do some uh, digital quizzes, uh, but primarily it's because I'm home, because I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon, so I've got a sub right now, and I'm actually currently in class with my fourth period. So it's 11.05, I told them I would start at 11.05, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit go, and it gave them some teams, so I'm gonna give them a couple of minutes, or like about a minute or two, because I know they're right now trying to figure out who's on what team, and they're probably rearranging in class, so I'm gonna let them go. Now, while I'm letting them go, I'm gonna tell you what I did. So I set up a sub, uh, like, letter and it just kind of told my calculus kids hey go to this website quizlet.live enter this code and it had a class code for them to go to it was that join code right there 380486 it probably is going to be a dud code after this so i don't think you can join us after but it separated the kids into teams it told them to pre be prepared to sit with their teams there was a little video introduction that they got to watch so they understood how this app would work and now i'm going to go ahead and let them start the game Uh oh, so somebody got disconnected. So I'm just going to let them start the game anyway. So if a couple kids don't get in, again, this was kind of a first time we're ever trying this. So I'm going to let them go. So what's happening right now is normally you could project this on your screen so kids could kind of watch what's going on. But what's happening right now is that you've got a team of sea dragons, a team of reindeer, and a team of wolves, and they are trying to answer the questions they see on their cell phones. And I can monitor their progress as they're going. And so right now they're probably checking the question. They might still be rearranging the classroom. They might be doing all of that. But is this a test situation? I don't quite know how it's going to work out, but I just thought I would record and see kind of what was going on. And so what happens is they have team, let's, let's talk about Team Sea Dragons, because that's a cool name anyway, but they have, uh, each of them has a cell phone out and it's going to prompt a question, but they're all going to get different answers. And so the three or four or however many are on that team have to have a discussion about who's got the right answer. And then they're going to click the right answer, not on all cell phones, but on only the one cell phone that has the right answer. See, Wolves has already figured out the first answer. So they hit go. They got their first point. Go Wolves. But the next round, if the wolves get the wrong answer, it's going to reset them. So it's really important to make sure they get the right answer each time and not just, okay, we're guessing, okay, we're trying to be quick. And so by doing this, I know that my kids are actually focusing, what they're focusing on right now is memorization of calculus terms for the AP exam in two weeks. But I know that my kids are actually doing something and they're interacting with me, even though I'm at home because... I was able to set up my doctor's appointment this afternoon, but even though I'm at home, I know my kids are actually getting a lesson instead of wasting a day with a sub, which we all know can happen. So that was just my little video upload. Just thought in case anybody was curious about how this worked. Oh, look, Team Reindeer, somebody's got the right answer. But yeah, so I just thought anybody would be interested in kind of seeing how this runs. I'd love to try it one more time in class um, with actually projecting the live and just kind of see how the kids work through it. Did you